Altitude now 21,000 feet, still looking very good. And they should be down to 800 miles an hour forward speed, about 102 miles an hour vertical speed. Velocity down now to 1,200 feet per second. You're looking great to us, Eagle. Less than five okay, minutes. I'm still on flu, uh, so we may tend to lose as we gradually pitch over. Let me try auto again now, see what happens. Roger. Okay, looks like it's holding. Roger, we got good data. They're following their flight plan almost unbelievably closely to this point. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the burn. Altitude, 16,300 feet. Eagle Houston, it's descent to fuel to monitor, over. Four to two. Altitude, 13,005. Final radar, radar check Velocity coming up. 9,100 feet per second. Made it, uh, switch over time, please, just. Roger, stand by. You're looking great at eight minutes. Yeah, correction on that velocity, now reading 760 feet per second. It's the P-64. Good. Roger. Fido says we're go, altitude 9,200 feet. 830, you're looking great. Descent rate 129 feet per second. We copy. Or about 80 miles an hour. And they're down to 300 miles an hour forward speed, coming up on high gate, the next critical point. Eagle, you're looking great, coming up nine minutes. We're now in the approach phase, everything looking good. Altitude 5,200 feet. Manual attitude control is good. Roger, copy. Altitude 4,200. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. I do understand, go for landing, 3,000 feet. Top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. We're go, same type, we're go. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet, into the ag, 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. Eagle looking great, you're go. Altitude 1,600. 1,400 feet, still looking very good. Roger, 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 700 feet, 21 down, 33 degrees. 100 feet, down to 19. 540 feet, down to 30, down to 15. There's 400 feet, down at 9. Cape forward. 150 feet down at four. 30 and a half down. They're uh, tagged on the uh, horizontal velocity. Standard feet down three and a half. 47 forward. Put up. On one and a minute. One and a half down. 70. down at two and a half. 19 forward. Altitude, velocity, light. Three and a half down. 220 feet. 13 forward. 11 forward, coming down nicely. 200 feet. Four and a half down. Five and a half down. 160 feet. Six and a half down. Five and a half down. Nine forward. Good. And 20 feet. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. 
Five percent. Seven eighty five. Eight seventy five feet. Guys looking good down a half. Six forward. Sixty seconds. Lights on. Six. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. Forty feet down two and a half. Picking up some dust. Thirty feet two and a half down. Great shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. Ready? Down a half. Thirty seconds. Forward just. Good. Ready? Contact light. Okay, engine stop. ACA at a descent. Post control, both auto descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're looking good here. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. After I'm on, take care of the defense. I'll get this bus repair. Very smooth touchdown. Like we're bending the oxidizer now. Roger, Eagle, and you are stay for T1. Over. Eagle, you are stay for T1. I just. And we see him stay for T1. Roger, and we see you venting the ox. I just. Is that right? Armstrong and Aldrin have made it. And Everyone wondered what Neil Armstrong's first words would be. This is Tranquility Base. Tranquility Base. Copy, uh, now 60, now 43. Over. Roger, we have it. Yes, sir, I read Columbia. Roger, Roger we read your five by Columbia. He has landed Tranquility Base. Eagle is at Tranquility. Over. Yeah, I heard the whole thing. Well, good show. Collins and the Columbia Command Module. Fantastic. Good show. Bob reset. There was never any doubt about what Armstrong was going to do. He had a low fuel light on there, his fuel warning light, and he was very near, very near not being able the to do The next major stay, no stay, will be for the T2 event. That is at uh, 21 minutes, 26 seconds after initiation of powered descent. Some of you went up to infantry command reset to uh, reacquire on the high game. Copy out. And uh, there seems to be an absence of drama and emotion in Armstrong and Aldrin's voice. They're busy checking out the spacecraft to be sure they can get off the moon in a hurry if anything goes wrong. And nothing has gone wrong, though. Every sign, Frank, seems to indicate it's okay. And when he was at 40 feet there and said some dust being kicked up by the engine. Yes. He must have set that thing We have an unofficial perfect. time for that touchdown of 102 hours, 45 minutes, 42 seconds, and we will update that. It was so unerring, it was almost unbelievable. Eagle, Houston, uh, you loaded R2 wrong. We want 10254. Roger. 
the ascent took them just a little bit longer than had been calculated, but outside of that, he followed the descent flight plan second by second, as far as we can tell. He was tell. able to make the, uh, the adjustment himself. He was actually yep. flying it down with Buzz calling out all those numbers to him. Right. Those last numbers we heard were the forward speed and the descent speed of Eagle. Now at Tranquility Base. Two Americans on another planet. Still ahead, uh, the goal these checks go right, of course, about 10 hours from now, unless Neil decides to do it sooner, that two hour and 40 minute spacewalk. Another tough bit of action, but not nearly Moonwalk. the crunch. Moonwalk. Yes. Not nearly the crunch, as you put it, that the landing was. Yeah. The next big crunch, I think, is the ascent. Sure. 